Before we get into today's news, uh, just something real quick I wanted to comment on. As you may know, after months of protests, the president of South Korea was finally impeached on Friday and uh, was removed from office. Uh, it wasn't hard to see this coming. You know, she's a president of a major democracy, but also involved in all sorts of shady business deals, including scamming money through a bogus family foundation. And worst of all, many people said the president wasn't even running the country herself. They said she had been manipulated by a shadowy advisor. And now I know this may seem completely foreign now, but... <laughs> Don't worry, you'll understand it soon. You'll understand it soon. <laughs> now, most people know very little about what's happening uh, in South Korea. In fact, the only thing we know for certain is that over the weekend, the crisis in South Korea gave us the greatest moment in the history of television ever. Scandals happen all the time. The question is, how do democracies respond to those scandals? Uh, and what will it mean for, uh, for the wider region? I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift it, shifting... <laughs> Shifting sands in the region, do you think relations with the North may change? Um, I would be surprised if they do. <laughs> the, um... Pardon me. Pardon me. My apologies. <laughs> what was this going to be for the region? My apologies. North, uh... Sorry. Um, North Korea... North... Uh, South Korea... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, like, no matter how many times I watch that video, like, this is why I love kids. No matter how seriously you take yourself, kids will mess up your <laughs> Sure, your dad can say, I'm going on the BBC, but the kids are like, no, we're going on Ellen. <laughs> I love the walk as well. It's just like, oh, yeah. You can even see the dads thinking, no one will ever know that I'm working from home. And then, boom, toddler busting, having a good time. The last time I saw somebody that happy on TV, Maury just told him he wasn't the father. Like, look at that kid. He's just like, good times. <laughs> so the toddler's great, and then the baby Ubers in. What's going on there? <laughs> this is the best video in history. And the hero has to be the mom who Kramer's into the room. <laughs> that in real life. She cramers into the room and airlifts both kids out at the same time, in record time. I bet Navy SEALs are watching that extraction like, man, if we had her with us, we would've, we would've got Osama alive. Oh, my God. She's amazing. This is so, so much fun. And, and, and I was shocked to see some people online giving the dad a hard time for not helping with the kids. You know, people were like, why didn't he help? This is the patriarchy at work. This is... Look, I understand what people are saying, but maybe there's a reason he didn't get up to help. You know, it's not just because he's on TV during an in doing an interview. It's, it's obviously people... He's not wearing pants. <laughs> no, this is a simple thing to understand. Any time someone is on television and you don't see the lower half of their body, they're not wearing pants. <laughs> How do I know this? Because I'm one of them. <laughs> this is like... It's what we do. There's no reason to be guilty. I'm one of them. That's all of us. You see on TV, no pants. Jake Tapper, Gail King, <laughs> Chuck Todd, all of us, no pants. Sometimes Dr. Phil doesn't wear pants and he doesn't even have a desk. <laughs> all of us. That poor guy, man, he's trying so hard to get his message out. You know what this reminded me of? It was almost like a giant metaphor for the Trump administration. We have made it very clear that we believe that the first one was done in compliance with US code and the authority granted to the president. This time, when we execute this, it's done in a manner that's flawless. Um, and so we, it's, not, it's not a question of delaying. It's a question of getting it right. Uh, we've taken the court's opinions. Ah, good times, good times.